Welcome back into the show and welcome to our Law and You segment sponsored by Gig and Jan Cola LLC. We're here now with attorney Michael Gig. Welcome back to the show. Thanks for having us back again. So Michael, kind of a busy summer and we were talking a little bit about the different types of uh, law that you guys specifically practice. Yeah, so I, I specifically work with uh, estate planning and then estates after somebody passes away. We do a lot of real estate as well. Uh, do some just general civil litigation as well. And my partner, Chris, does all of our personal injury, uh, workers' compensation, and uh, Social Security as well. Okay, so you cover those types of topics. Well, today, Correct. of course, you know, people can write in their legal questions, and we put you in the hot seat, and you right. answer them. So <laughs> we've got a good one for you today. So this question comes in, and they're asking, so my husband died and had real estate just in his name. Does that property automatically go to me when he dies? Okay, that's a good question. We, I've actually had this clients come in and ask this question numerous times. Typically, this, this is a case where it's either the person uh, purchased this property prior to getting married, so it's in their name alone, or I often see this where it's a second marriage, mm -hmm. where uh, the person comes into that second marriage and maybe got that property previously from a divorce. So in that situation, it does not automatically go to the current spouse. A lot of people think, well, I'm their spouse, and it just goes to be yeah. automatically. Um, if it is just in that person's name, the only way to get that into the spouse's name is for an estate to actually be opened. So that requires them going out to the courthouse, getting sworn in as either an executor or administrator, and that's the only way that property can pass to that spouse. Also, it's not exactly true that it goes to that spouse. If they have a will that states mm -hmm. such, then it, then it will. But if they, you know, unfortunately did not have a will, um, it does not necessarily all go to the spouse. So that's why, again, it's important to have a will if, uh, if, if you have anything in your name alone. Well, that's kind of why it's important to comb through some of those legal things that could come up, have a will. Correct. Yeah, that's very important. Um, but it is, it is uh, a, a common misconception between spouses that they believe, hey, I'm the spouse. Mm -hmm. We don't need to get a will done. Everything's going to go right. to me anyways. That's not the case. And in fact, that can cause some problems, um, especially when there's a second marriage or something right. where there's maybe a mixed family. Uh, that can cause a lot of issues after that person dies. Because I've heard of that people, you know, someone's on their deathbed, they get married thinking, well, I'll just leave everything to Correct. you, but it doesn't always work out like that. Yeah, and that creates a lot of problems with the family after the person yeah. passes. So that's why it's really important Regardless of whether you think, you know, don't assume anything, and that's why it's important to have a will so that you can determine, and it's, it'll be up to you where your assets go after you pass. Now, when people talk about power of attorney, right. does that kind of come into this too? Yeah, that's another misconception. A really? power of attorney and an executor and a will are totally different things. Mm -hmm. A power of attorney is someone that can act on your behalf while you're alive. Okay. That power of attorney is extinguished after you die. So I would say power of attorney is while you're alive, that person mm -hmm. acts for you while you're alive. An executor is, is acts on your behalf after you pass okay. away. That, that is a common misconception as well. There's a lot of things I think people yes. kind of interchange. They mix and match yeah. those, two, those two terms. Yeah, but you're here to get us straight. Correct. What is the best way for uh, folks to find you guys if they have any questions? Yeah, so they can either uh, contact our office. Uh, our phone number is 814-946-1606 or uh, look on our website uh, and send an email there at gig, uh, gig-law.com. Perfect. Well, Attorney Michael Gig, thank you so much. Thanks for having us. Yeah, of course, if you have any questions, any legal matter questions, send them over to us here. We'll answer them on the show during our Law & You segment. Still ahead, we're going to check out another great travel tip from Fly Altoona and Contour Airlines. That tip coming up in just a